hey guys welcome to Final Fantasy 14 here to show you the next dragon that I unlocked through the five point patch 5.2 uh, totem trading and this one uh, over here is called the innocent Gweba. answering to a horn imbued of the almighty innocent's power this draconic archive entity is enveloped in the self same glow as the light warden whence it takes its name rest assured it is not a sin eater take that off so as you can see the um other i don't know what you call it you can call it the magic you can call it the ethereal energy that's irradiating off the creature is look different to the fey Gweber. um the armor is a different color and um, this one instead of silver is gold and oops i've zoomed in too much and also we've got purple it matches the boss fight itself um so we've got of course the white with the dark scales not scales horns i do apologize got his lovely blue eyes very menacing grin but if you look at that face it's comical and i gotta say when i first saw this mount and people flying around with it it reminded me just color wise a little bit of a light fury obviously i know uh, pure because it was a white dragon and white dragons i don't you know, other than heraldsvigor i've never seen many of them usually they're dark colored or brightly colored but i don't see many white ones Okay, now I'm starting aware that actually, no, you do have the never-ending story. That was a white dragon. It was it pink? That was white. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to show this dragon. Um, the other one I kind of went straight into flying. I want to show this one running a bit more because I love the run. And I've said about, yes, I think it looks like a dinosaur, and I still hold by that. It's the run. It's the Velociraptor-style run, and that's not a bad thing. I love that. Um, when you play a new game of Final Fantasy and you can't fly straight away, you're stuck to ground movement. I love mounts that have a fluid flow of it. So, for example, I love Cloud's bike, but it's a bit it's a bit plain. But this guy running, it's fun. And I know I read too much into these things, but I love mounts in game and I love looking at the details they do to them and the design. So, yeah, I I speculate on these tiny little things that no one else thinks about. <laughs> Now, this dragon is its a bit more plainer than the other one, because you haven't got the markings. But it is still a beautiful mount, and I'd say I'll see, well, I collect as many as I can, so I'd say the same is definitely worth having. And the fight itself is a very fun one. Now, believe me, it is hectic. It is more hectic than the Titania fight, I know that. But at the same time, it's one of my favourite fights. I think the actual, when you be innocent for the first time his transformation is the best one i've seen in a computer game it was amazing you know to watch and it's just really just didn't i i didn't expect it and i thought it was just a really good way of actually you know progressing the story and making the boss fight really interesting rather than beating a guy who looks a bit like jabba the hut so it was really nice and it's very different just having to dodge all those aoe's but once you get the movement down Obviously, the pattern, it does change, so, but it's just being quick on your feet. I wouldn't say it's a very good fight for casters. I think it is a much better fight for people like dancers or bards and machinists, because at least we can fire from afar, and it's easier than for us. But then if you're like someone like a monk, and you have to be really close to the boss, but you have to distance yourself as well, you know, it's doable. I just think it's a lot more hard work, so well done for all the melee dps you do a really good job not to get knocked down in this fight um, the music is really good as well and it's just it's just a really good fight and the dragon is really cool too i admit when i first saw people riding around in them i preferred this guy but now i actually have these two dragons i think i slightly more prefer the fey weaver because of the color because i love blues and that metallic -y look but this guy is still awesome so they said there are two more dragons out now um still to get um hoping to be a bit more fortunate with the rolls um and also the new beast tribe which um of course this is a gathering beast tribe and most of the time they focus more on crafting so i'm now kind of wondering will we then have have has uh, square Enix team decided to be a bit more different with it and that instead of just giving us um you know, a gathering and crafting one like the Namazu Beast Tribe quest, are we going to get a gathering and a crafting one separate? Because that would mean two mounts rather than just saving up for one. And I know 
it seems a bit odd that in Final Fantasy all I tend to go on about is mounts, but it's only because in game this is what this is what I love about it. Um, I love that there's so many you can collect, there's so many different ways to go about it. Um, I know I'll never personally have all of them because I'm not good at everything in Final Fantasy. And I'm in mind if anyone is. <laughs> but I just it's what I it's what I love playing the game for. There are some people who work on being good crafters, someone being good gatherers, someone having the best equipment on all their classes and just being really good at fighting battles. But for me, it's just more the fact that I actually just love collecting mounts. I um, mean, the fact I've got 126 now will lose up to that. So if I ever seem like I go on about it too much, it's purely because this is what I love about the game. And I think everyone loves something different about Final Fantasy. That's what makes the game so great. There's something for everyone. So thanks for watching this vid, guys. Um, more mount vids um, coming along soon. I don't know when exactly, but as soon as I have a new one, then I'll be putting that vid up. So you guys have a good day and enjoy the new patch of 5.2.